Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here from Brick Players Union, and in this video I'm going to share with you my conversion of the Jeep from the Lego Toy Story Army Men on Patrol set 7595 from back in 2010. So, let's check it out. Now, like a lot of you probably are, I am a big fan of the Toy Story movies. So, back when Lego released sets from the Toy Story theme, of course I was really excited. And of those sets, my favorite has to be the Army Men on Patrol. Now, back when I was a kid, in addition to playing with Lego, I also had a bunch of the traditional original Green Army Men that I love to play with. And that's one of the reasons that this set is so cool to me, because it's a combination of two of my favorite toys from my childhood. Now, overall, this is a really great set, especially the all-green minifigures. But the Jeep, while it's a cool little build, is just that, little. I mean, it's barely big enough to carry too many figures, let alone the four that come with the set, so when I was trying to think of some green vehicles to build for my city, I decided to give this Jeep an upgrade. Now, a while back, I built a mock Jeep Wrangler, so I decided to use that as a starting point for this build. And overall, I was pretty happy with that build, but there were a few things that I wasn't completely satisfied with, so I took this build as an opportunity to make some improvements to the original design. As for the specs of the Jeep, it has a main body that is six studs wide, with the black fenders adding another stud to each side for a total overall width of eight studs. The main body is 16 studs long, with the spare tire bringing the overall length to 18 studs, and the height is seven bricks to the top of the windshield. As for the build itself, the front of the original Jeep Wrangler that I built was one of the things that I wasn't completely satisfied with, and my main problem with the front was the spacing of the headlights. They were just too far apart. So for the Green Army Jeep, I moved them closer together, which I think looks a lot better. Now, by moving the headlights closer together, I had room to add a set of turn signals to the corners, which not only adds some more realism, but it also makes the front grille a little bit narrower. Up on the hood, I built the tapered shape using some 2x4 wedge plates. I built the windshield using a 3x6 brush guard, and I mounted it using two 1x1 plates with the clips on top, which allows the windshield to be folded down flat. Now, there were two main reasons why Jeeps had fold-down windshields, and both reasons have their roots from when the Jeep was used in the military. The first reason was that by folding the windshield flat, the Jeep could fit into a smaller crate, which saved space and made shipping the Jeeps more efficient. And the second reason was for safety. If you're in a war zone, the last thing you want to do is give away your position. And with the windshield up, the glass would reflect light and make you a target. So folding the windshield down would greatly reduce that risk. Now moving on to the sides. They're pretty much the same as the original Jeep Wrangler, with the exception of some smaller side mirrors. And on this mock, I replaced the larger 24x14 city wheels and tires with some 24x12 Speed Champions wheels and tires in green. Other features on the side include some side step rails that I built using three of the 1x2 plates with the handles. And I also gave it a set of squared off fender flares in black. Round back, I used another green 24x12 Speed Champions wheel and tire for the spare. I also gave it a set of transparent red taillights to add a bit of realism. And I also gave it a flat rear bumper to match the flat bumper up front. As for the interior, I replaced the small city steering wheel with a larger 2x2 steering wheel. And I also added some mounting brackets for a set of binoculars and for a walkie-talkie. I used four 2x2x2 two by two by two minifig chairs for the seats, and I mounted the front seats on some hinged rocker bricks so they can be folded forward, making it easier for passengers to get to the rear seats. Alright, there you have it. My conversion of the Jeep from the Lego Toy Story Army Men on Patrol, set 7595, from back in 2010. I really hope you like it, and if you did, you can let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. That is, of course, always greatly appreciated. 
And if you have a minute before you go, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd also like to give a shout out to Jason Chen, Brick Queen, Arcturion Blade, and Matthew Vanderwall. And if you'd like me to give you a shout out, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to do so in an upcoming video. And on that note, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.